In this video, I'm gonna show you a very simple little pressure out of the 335 odd that is really, really effective, especially against the Gun Bunch meta, any major passing offense. This pressure is probably going to be a little bit different than a pressure concept that you've seen up until this point in the season. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to turn on those notifications. That way, you know whenever I release a new video. My channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so we try to release new videos, uh, multiple new videos every single day to help you have the latest tips and strategies that can help you get better at this game. Now, in this video, like I said, we're talking about the Nickel 335 Odd. And the Nickel 335 Odd, in my personal opinion, is one of the most slept on defenses in the entire game. I believe that it's actually significantly more effective at certain things uh, like sending pressure than the 245 odd actually is. This is a very, very good defense, very effective, and there's a lot of things that we can do with this to make this even more effective. And so I'm super pumped to be sharing this video with you today. So if you want to get my full 335 odd defensive ebook, like I said, there's a link in the description below where you can get it. It's on sale for just 15 bucks. All you got to do is click the link. It'll take you right over to the website where you can get the guide. The play we're talking about today is the Sam Mike 3 Press. Now, you can actually do this out of any play in, in this in this uh, playbook, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but we're gonna it's easiest to use the Sam Mike 3 Press. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to hit the R1 button, and we're going to hit left on the left joystick to shift our entire defense to the left side. And what that's going to do is it's going to slide our line to the left, and it's going to slide our linebackers to the left. And then we're just simply going to crash our defensive line uh, to the right. As you can see right here, it's going to create this little stack alignment right here that is absolutely really, really critical for this to be successful. We're going to kind of stand like right here with our user. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to get easy edge pressure off the left edge. Now, like I said, you can do this out of any play. You don't have to do it out of that play. So I'm going to audible over to the Tampa 2 here, and I'm going to show you the same exact setup. So again, we're going to shift our defensive line or shift our defense to the to the left. We're going to crash our defensive line to the left, and then I'm going to take the left of screen linebacker and just simply blitz him right off the edge. As you can see right here, it's going to give him this little blitz angle that he's going to use, and then all we're going to do with our user. If I can get on to uh, a good user here, we're going to use her right in here and the snap of the ball, you're going to see this left edge, this left edge pressure. Now, the beauty of this is that there's a lot that we can do on top of this one simple blitz angle. So again, it's super simple setup. You can crash your line down or you can crash your line to the right. And then what you can actually do with this is you can drop this backside guy into a zone. So you're going to see right here, I'm going to drop him into a curl flat zone. And as you can see, the blitz is going to come in completely consistent off that left edge. The other thing that I really like about this defense is I could also do this right here where I simply shift my linebackers to the right. I'm going to leave my line of scrimmage as it was, and then I'm going to simply crash my defensive line uh, to the left. So if you take a look at the blitz angles, we're going to create this blitz angle right here. And what I like to do is just shift my D line. It's going to create a little bit more of a balanced front, maybe a little bit more helpful against the run. And as you'll be able to see here, we actually don't get the pressure as consistent as we do the other direction. So that's just something you need to be aware of. Uh, but I, for the most part, will just simply do this right here. I think this is one of the better blitzes in the entire game. And again, it's real simple setup. And honestly, you don't even have to do all of that jazz. All you have to do is shift the defense to the left and then typically if you contain rush you'll be able to get this pressure in. we weren't able to get it in right there so you know again all you're doing is you're just going to globally shift your defense to the left and then you're going to crash your defensive line to the opposite side and as you can see the pressure loops around perfectly at the quarterback now, another way that we can uh, set this same blitzing concept up is we can actually click on to this linebacker right here in the middle. We're just going to kind of stand like right here, and you're going to see at the snap of the ball, it makes the pressure even more consistent than it already was. So, again, we just simply shift our defense to the left, global blitz our linebackers, crash our D-line uh, to the middle of the field, and then we're just gonna stand right here. And as you see, this is a really simple pressure to the left side. Now, I will say that this defense does, uh, it, it is a little bit interesting to see it against a block tight end. So I'm gonna go ahead and delay fade uh, my tight end here on, the, on this side. And at the snap of the ball, what you're gonna see is we're still gonna be able to come in if they block a tight end. Now, if they block a running back, let me show you how the blitz is going to look against that. Again, we're just going to shift the defense 
to the left, Globa Blitz our linebackers, crash our defensive line down, and we're going to use her on this guy right here. And what you're going to see is even if they block a running back, they're not going to be able to get this pressure picked up, which is one of the real beauties of this blitz is the fact that it can come in against a delay fade tight end, and it can also come in against a blocked running back. Now, if they max protect, they're going to have a decent, uh, a little bit more of a chance as you saw right there, uh, to be able to pick this blitz up. So that's just something to kind of be aware of. One thing that you can actually do, though, against a max protect setup is you can take the defensive tackle, the nose tackle there, J.J. Watt, and you can actually man him up on the running back. And what you'll see is sometimes this will keep the running back glitched out, as you saw right there, and we're going to be able to easily get the pressure in. So... Um, in, in summary, you know, you can act, you really only need these three guys on the left side. So if I man up the running back with that guy right there, and then I can zone off this guy on the back side, then even against bunch max protect, you should still get this pressure in off the left edge. Occasionally that running back, as you saw right there, will pick it up. Um, but as a general rule, this is one of the best blitzes in the game. So again, just shift your defense to the right. Uh, you can, and then I like to global blitz and then crash my D line to the right. As you see, it's going to create the big thing is these stacked blitz angles here on the right or on the left that is super super important and then you can do honestly whatever you could stand right here if you wanted to and you'll create some unique pressure concepts as a result i want to thank you for watching this video and if you want to get my full 335 odd defensive ebook there's a link that is in the description all you have to do is go down click that link in the description it'll take you right over to my website where you'll be able to get the entire defensive guide for just 15 bucks